the vile town of Oldham. Hey lovely people, welcome back to our lovely channel that you have come to love. Today we're embarking on a journey to explore Oldham, nestled in the heart of Greater Manchester United Kingdom. Although a historic community rich in history and culture, it has its unique challenges that might make you think twice about living there. Whether you're planning a visit, you are a curious traveller, or you simply want to learn more about the best and worst places to live in the UK, stick around, because Oldham is waiting to be explored. Let's talk about why Oldham may not be the best place for you to live. Let's dive right in. We hereby present the vile town of Oldham. Crime Hotspot Truth be told, living in Oldham isn't for the weak. Everybody wants to feel safe. However, when our safety is threatened, our sense of security is replaced with gripping fear. It's a story of numbers, but more importantly, it's a story of people. So here's the deal. The Greater Manchester Police, the GMP, recently released crime data for July 2022. It's a big deal because they initially refused to share it, but eventually had an apparent change of heart. What does this data reveal about Oldham? The most common category of crime recorded in Oldham for July was violence and sexual offences, with a staggering 1,144 cases reported. In contrast, bicycle theft was the least common crime, with only six reported cases in the entire borough. That isn't a lot, but every case matters. Now, here's something interesting. About 42% of crimes investigated by GMP had evidential difficulties. That's nearly half of all cases, and a further 26% had no suspect identified. That leaves us with a lot of mysteries. So what happened with these investigations? Well, about 5% led to a charge or an out-of-court outcome, and another 5% are still under investigation. But here's a statistic that raises eyebrows. When it comes to bicycle thefts and vehicle crime, over 80% of cases ended with no suspects identified. Sincerely, that's a harsh reality. It's not just bicycle thefts. Burglaries and other theft cases also ended without suspects identified in around 62% of cases. And what about criminal damage and arson cases? Just over half of them ended this way. Drug offences were the most common not to be prosecuted, accounting for 10% of such cases. It's a challenge that communities everywhere are grappling with. Although Oldham has one of the most affordable housing within this area, the safety of residents cannot be wholly guaranteed. High crime rates can raise concerns about personal safety, which is a fundamental consideration for anyone choosing a place to live. People may worry about the risk of theft, assault or property crime in their daily lives. There you have it, the vile town of Oldham. Economic struggles one reason why living in Oldham can be challenging is the economic issues facing this community. First, let's talk about unemployment. You know, Oldham, it's a place of resilience, but it has also seen its fair share of tough times. Jobs can be a bit hard to come by, even for locals. Imagine what getting a job will be like for a new settler. The job market here can sometimes feel like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Depending on your profession or industry, your dream job might just be out of reach. And this isn't the time to live in the UK without a job, considering the rising cost of living. Another thing worth mentioning is the income. You see, many people in Oldham earn lower average incomes compared to other parts of the country. It's a reality that impacts their day-to-day -day lives like family, livelihood, quality of life and even leisure. Many residents work hard to make ends meet and sometimes it feels like the ends are just a bit too far apart. And if that's the case, is Oldham still a good place to live? Hardly. Historically, Oldham thrived in industries like textiles and manufacturing, but as times changed, so did the economy. This transition has not always been smooth. Some businesses are finding it hard to adapt to the modern way of doing things. This, in turn, creates some sort of economic inequality among residents, and it would be unwise for someone to start their life in the UK in that situation. Some folks living there have seen more than their fair share of hardship, while others enjoy relative comfort. So if you're ever considering living in Oldham, don't forget these economic struggles because they'll shape your life there. Although charming, this town is often referred to as the vile town of Oldham because of its economic challenges. There's a higher unemployment rate compared to neighbouring areas. This might be a concern if you're seeking a good job. Epileptic transport system. Let's talk about something that affects us all transportation. 
It's not just about roads and buses, it's about how we move, or sometimes struggle to move, around Oldham. First up, there's limited transport infrastructure. You see, Oldham's roads can feel a bit cramped during rush hour. It's something many locals deal with daily. Public transportation in Oldham is a lifeline, but it's not without its challenges. Delays and overcrowding on buses and trams? Yes, we've been there. Commuter traffic is a thing too. With so many people travelling to Manchester for work, the roads can be get pretty jammed up most of the time. What about parking? Well, let's not even get started with that. Finding a parking spot easily in town can be a real challenge. You've got to be a wizard sometimes. OK, maybe not exactly a wizard wizard, but you must be extra smart. Now let's talk about cycling, which is an alternative form of transportation. The world is trying to promote eco-friendly transportation now, but Oldham's cycling infrastructure might not be up to par just yet. Many residents love biking, but sometimes it's just not safe with the traffic. Unlike most neighbouring communities, there are no dedicated lanes, and this can make biking around town quite dangerous. But what if there are rail services? Rail services are essential for many people in our modern world, but not all areas of Oldham have easy access to trains. That can be a real hassle for daily commuters. And let's not forget about accessibility. For every ideal community, ensuring that everyone, including those with disabilities, can use public transport is a must. And truthfully, the infrastructure already on the ground at Oldham cannot guarantee this essential provision. Deprivation To truly understand Oldham's deprivation, we have to acknowledge that it is a complex issue. It's not just about money, it's about opportunities, health and a sense of belonging. Deprivation here takes many forms. High unemployment, limited access to quality education, health disparities and housing challenges all play a role. The consequences of deprivation ripple through lives. Families may struggle to make ends meet and the weight of economic hardship can be heavy. In Oldham, several factors contribute to the town's deprivation. First, consider the educational deprivation. Educational achievement has been a concern in Oldham, with some schools facing significant obstacles in helping students reach their full potential. Some people believe that the school curriculum needs a revamp and some academic flavour. Some residents who can afford it prefer enrolling their children in schools in nearby communities, with those who can't afford it may not having a choice. This can have a long-term impact on economic opportunities. Health inequalities exist within Oldham, with disparities in life expectancy and access to healthcare services. Factors like lifestyle, economic status and healthcare accessibility contribute to these inequalities. Another thing that contributes to the deprivation is the housing conditions. While the houses are quite affordable, poor housing conditions, including overcrowding and substandard housing, affect the well-being of some residents. Adequate housing is a fundamental aspect of a good quality of life. Finally, while Oldham is a diverse community, social cohesion has faced challenges in the past, particularly during periods of racial tensions and social unrest. So how is deprivation affecting the quality of life in Oldham, UK? Deprivation limits economic opportunities and can perpetuate cycles of poverty. Individuals and families may struggle to make ends meet, leading to financial instability. Health inequalities can lead to poorer overall health outcomes for deprived communities. Access to healthcare, lifestyle choices and environmental factors all play a role. Deprivation can hinder educational attainment, limiting opportunities for personal and professional growth. This in turn affects future employment prospects. Deprivation can lead to social isolation and a sense of disconnection from the wider community. Building social cohesion becomes crucial in addressing this issue. Is there something you feel we are overlooking? Please feel free to share your thoughts through the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. It'll be appreciated so much. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.